What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today. I have a very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today we're gonna to be talking about how to get the notification LED back on your Galaxy S24 Ultra, old school Samsung style. I'm talking about way back in the day when Samsung had notification LEDs that would blink up here different colors when you have notifications coming in. There is a way to enable it. I'm gonna show you how to do it today. Before we get started, I wanna thank my son, Jonathan. We've got some dinosaurs to hang out as always, my three-year-old son, the Elasmosaurus over here on my left. And we have the very large orange, green, and white Stegosaurus on my right. We always appreciate him. Also, if you guys haven't yet, follow me on all my socials and sign up for the newsletter. My alpha link below will allow you to do all that stuff. Check out the website, sammyguru.com as well. If you're not part of the channel yet, we do do mystery boxes at each launch. So you get a free case cleaning kit, desktop phone stand if you order your Samsung phone directly through our affiliate link. That information's here. It has closed for the S24 temporarily. I may reopen it later. We're currently shipping all the boxes to people signed up but it'll be open for the foldable phones very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. Check it out in the pinned comment and the description below. So let's go ahead and get right into it. I'm gonna show you guys how to get back the notification LED on your Galaxy phone. Also enable some other cool features as well using this application right here. If you go to the Play Store, it's called Notification Light for Samsung. It used to be called AOD Notify. So if you actually search in the search box, A-O-D-N-O-T-I-F-Y. I'll drop the link below if you wanna check it out as well. What this allows you to do is get back your notification LED on all of these different devices. Now you can get it back for any device, Samsung device, but I'm gonna show you today with the S24 Ultra in particular. You do have to be a little careful because with this, with this particular app, it doesn't work for anything except Samsung. It doesn't work on any other devices, so you do have to be kind of careful with that. So we're gonna go ahead and install it. There is a paid version to unlock some of the additional features. I'll talk about that later. There's also a beta that you can unlock as well, and uh, that's down there at the bottom of the Play Store if you want to. So if we go in here to AOD Notify, it's gonna open. We've got some permissions. I'm gonna walk you guys through how this works. Go in here, set up the app. We have to do a few things. First, select which applications you want to be able to use the application. Uh, I don't recommend all of them because you might not want notifications for all of them. Beeper is my main messaging app, so I definitely want that. You know, pick the ones that are important to you. Facebook, you probably want notifications for that. Instagram, probably. Pick ones that really matter. Um, now, I guess for the purposes of this video, I'll choose all so that I can just demonstrate this, but uh, you probably just wanna limit it to the ones you're using. Next, you're gonna give notification access. You're gonna go in here, it'll take you right to it. You're gonna choose AOD Notify from the list. Click Allow. Now, of course, you need to trust the developer. You should always read. Of course, I've used this app for years, so I trust the developer, but you should read about it. Read about it online, do additional research. I think it's safe, but of course you have to make your own decision when giving permissions. Of course it needs to access the notifications to be able to show the LED. Next, change some settings for display settings. Stop optimizing battery usage. And then once you do that, you go right in here, allow permissions. And then you see the always on display setting gets changed as well. Lastly, draw over the screen. It needs to do this to show you notification light. So tap on this, say next and then select from the installed apps, select AOD Notify, which has an orange dot because it's new, turn it on, and then tap Allow. Once you've got blue check marks on everything, you're ready to go ahead and get into the app and dive into the settings. There's a couple of things you can do. So there's a lot of settings in here. The first thing is notifications. You can choose the apps, choose which battery events will activate the location, phone's fully charged, battery's low, phone is charging. You can turn this on. It's kind of cool to have the phone is totally charged one on there to enable. You can also do some more granular things in here. Ignore notifications if the phone is unlocked, for instance, things like that. So you can choose what's useful for you. You can decide how you want to use it. Battery low is one that I like to turn on just for having the light there to remind me I need to charge my phone. Uh, the next thing you can do is down here, mark notifications as seen when they're cleared, phone unlocked or screen on. That's really nice and ignore non-removal notifications. Like I have do not disturb on right now while I record the video. I don't want to see a light or notification for that. So the notification light effect, you can change it up here, the style. So you can choose the style. This is where you definitely wanna go. You can choose camera edge, which is right here at the top. You guys can see the cameras lighting up there at the top. That's the one I like. You can also do LED dot in the status bar. This is another one. It's not as obvious. Uh, and then down here for the screen is off, you can choose Camera Edge, LED Dot, or Fingerprint Sensor. Now I use Camera Edge for all of them. I think it looks the nicest. 
It's also kind of the closest, in my opinion, to the old school LED notifications. So decide how you want to proceed there. You can choose the different effects. There's different effects for each one. The default there is pulse, but you can play around with this and kind of see the different effects and which one you enjoy the most. The one that gets your attention the best, I guess, since it's going to be a notification light. Change the dimensions, display time for how long it's going to show for screen on and screen off, stamina mode, interval mode, which I have never really used either of these, but they all have, you know, some, obviously some applications, some people might enjoy them. Notification preview. So in addition to getting the notification light, you can also get a preview of the notifications as they come in like this. This is how it's going to look on your always on display. This basically replaces your current always on display from the stop Samsung one and uh, enhances it to give you like previews, different icons. Some people like it. I might make a more in-depth video about this, but I don't use this because I find that it drains battery a little more than the stock uh, always on display. The notification LED with the camera edge doesn't have any problems, never had an issue. Um, so for that, I, I kind of leave it. I did leave this off usually, notification preview, but you can try it, play around with it. I think that is part of the premium features. Colors, choose the different colors. So they're all set to the light blue by default, but like if I wanted beeper to be purple to match the app icon, then I could go in here and choose it. Custom color, purple for beeper, okay. And then, you know, I could go in here. Another one that I really like to choose is Gmail. Gmail to be red. So I know that I have, you know, a Gmail coming because that's probably my most frequent notification. You can also choose the battery colors. You can even choose colors for messages for specific contacts. And you can choose the default color. So if you don't like that color, if you want green, you can see there, change the default to green so it shows up. Auto color, to colorize the notification light depending on the app icon. This is a very cool feature. And if you have a bunch of apps on, I do recommend, you know, enabling this. Of course, if you do that, it's going to kind of block out some of your earlier choices there. Down here, general settings. There's a couple other things to be aware of. Uh, always on display operation mode. This one is something if you're using the always on display, you can either show only on notification, which I really like because Samsung doesn't really have that option in the stock AOD. Um, allow the app to change the AOD mode and completely disable AOD when it's not needed. So this gives it permission to interact with the stock one. Change clock style. This just takes you to the default Samsung editor in settings. And this also takes you to the general settings for always on display. Customize power saving for nighttime and do not disturb. And wake screen, wake up the screen when a notification arrives. This drains a lot of battery. So I don't necessarily recommend that one, but you know, it's something that you can certainly do. Now down here, you see the pro mode. Uh, I did buy the pro mode, which I think it's $2.99 or something that you pay to get all these extra pro features. One of the big ones is the notification preview. So if you're not going to use that, you can look at the free version. I, I like some of the extra features for coloring LEDs and all the things that I showed you today. So I think it's worth it if you use it on a daily basis. Uh, like I said, very useful, very useful notification uh, feature in my opinion. It's something that I enjoy using. Get your notification LED back uh, and can utilize that. They only come, you know, they only show up every time that the message comes in. So you see, I didn't have the phone unlocked, so it didn't quite come in there. But you guys saw the preview of, of how it looks up there at the top when you do the style. That's exactly how it's gonna look right there when it comes in on your lock screen based on the colors that you chose. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon, future videos like this. I really enjoy it. A lot of people didn't know that this is working with the S24 already, but it is. It's not listed on the Play Store as working with the S24, but it works just fine with the S24, no issues at all. He'll probably update the official description eventually. I'll drop a link below if you want to check it out. Again, feel free to also follow me on all the socials, sign up for the newsletter, so you know when our next set of mystery boxes go live for the next Samsung launch. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.